the Merge and Compare feature allows you to merge a copy of your presentation that you sent out to another user who's made changes to it, and then when they send it back to you with those changes, you can then merge that copy back into your original, in which case PowerPoint is going to mark off all those differences between the original and the copy for you then to accept or reject those changes. You can then repeat this over and over again if you have multiple copies to merge, but only one can be merged and copied at a time. So for example, I've got my original presentation here, and let's say that I sent off six copies of it, and Mr. Humphreys is the only one who returned it with some changes. So before I go ahead and show you this feature, I want to show you the one change that he's made, so you can see what it looks like when we do the merge and compare. On slide one, in my original here, I've got the leader in paranormal research. In his, I believed he changed paranormal to supernatural. So let's go ahead and find out. Let's minimize this down to the taskbar because on my desktop, there we go. Now I named the file. You can name the copy of the original, whatever you want. In this case, I named it after the person. I want them to review it, make changes. So this is Mr. Humphreys. So let's go ahead and double click to open it up. And, oh, there we go. Slide one, the leader in supernatural, not paranormal. So he's made changes. I mean, can you imagine doing this without the help of merge and compare, going back and forth? Okay, slide three, he's got this. Slide three, I've got that. Well, it's the same. Well, I can't remember. Well, that's just a mess. So, with using the merge and compare feature, let's close out of the copy and go back to our original. Click on the button to restore it. And in your original, come up here, click on the review tab because, yeah, we are doing a review to whether or not we want to accept or reject changes. Go to the compare group and click on compare opens up and it says choose file to merge with current presentation. Now notice how it says a file, not files, so it's just one at a time. And notice how it's PowerPoint. We're not merging and comparing with Access or Excel or Outlook, and that makes sense, right? And also, you want to make sure it's a copy of the original because, well, first of all, if it wasn't, why would you want to do it? Because second of all, PowerPoint may have a fit with all the differences between two different presentations. So we just want something that's a copy of the original that many changes have been made instead of two entirely different presentations. Just keep that in mind. So there's Mr. Humphreys. Go ahead and double click. And let's go over. First of all, well, you see a little pop-up right here. And the reason why that's popping up immediately of all the changes, well, let me explain. Come over here with me, good neighbor, into the revisions task pane. And you've got slides and the details. So first of all, details is in bold. We'll go with this first. And down below, you've got slides and presentation changes. Now, for the slide changes, PowerPoint wants to go over presentation changes first, something that affects the entire presentation overall. So any changes made on a slide-by-slide -slide basis, it doesn't care. So what's a presentation change? Well, as you can see in the pop-up here, is somebody deletes or inserts a slide. That affects the entire presentation, especially if you're deleting a slide because, you know, you're actually deleting an entire thought that flows with your presentation. Also, any theme changes that you make, well, when you update a theme, it updates all the slides throughout the entire presentation. So it wants to go over and review those first, and so you can see down below presentation changes. It's slide two on our website. Well, what's the deal with that? Well, if you come up here, there's slide two, and it's there, but Mr. Humphreys, in his copy, deleted it. Okay, well, if I accept his deletion on our website right there, when I check it, it disappears, so slide three is now slide two. But if I go, oh, I didn't want to do that, that's okay. Just go ahead and hover over it, click to see all slides deleted from this position, click on it, and it pops it back up to allow you to uncheck it and reject his change, so to speak, because it's still there for you to, you know, click on it and check it to delete it and accept this change. So that's the only change that I have that affects the entire presentation overall, as opposed to, you know, a slide change. So it says no changes to the slide, slide two. The next set of changes is on slide four. So we can go ahead and go to slide four, or you can come up here on the review tab, go to the compare group, and click on next. And it'll jump right to it, as you can see in the pop-up. Click next. And so you notice how it goes from slide two, and it jumps to one, because again, it wants to go over any presentation changes that affects the presentation as a whole. Deleted slides, theme changes, and then after it addresses that, then, okay, let's start with slide one, if there is any changes on the slide. And so you can see, oh, there's some changes here. So all changes to subtitle two. And you've got two that you can accept or reject. First of all, Mr. Humphreys inserted Supernatural. 
And then second of all, he deleted Paranormal. Well, if he didn't delete it, then we've got Leader in Supernatural Paranormal Research. Sounds very wordy, so I agree. If I'm going to go with his insertion, I better also go with his deletion. So it's just Leader in Supernatural Research. Oh, that's fabulous. And then, of course, I can go ahead and uncheck that, check it. And at any point during my review, I can make these changes. I can play with this as much as I want. That is until I come up here on the Review tab and come over here and end the review. Once you do that, it's all over, folks. You can't come back here and change your mind, so we won't do that yet. Let's continue. So you can see over here, Slide Changes. You can select it. In any case, that's what's on this slide. And we can uncheck it and say, you know what? I like my paranormal research. What else you got? Come up here and click on Next. Oh, here's a fun one. What do we got here? And this is on Slide. You can see it over here, highlighted, number four. And you can see over here the slide changes, rectangle five, three steps. That's what's been changed. Flow chart, flow chart, okay. Well, let's go ahead and go through this. Now, before I get too far, these are the things that have changed. It's outlining it with the names, the rectangle, the flow chart. That's the details. Click on Slides. Now on slides, it's going to show you an overall view graphically. So when I'm looking at the words and any changes are made to the words, like let's see, point, shoot, and follow, click on the tag, he inserted chase and deleted follow. Well, chase sounds more manly than follow, so I agree with that because, you know, hey, it sounds really aggressive when we do something like chasing instead of just kind of tagging around a ghost. So let's go ahead and go with the insertion and deletion. Now when you do that, I don't know about you, but I can't read that. That's too tiny. So again, what you see over here on the slide selection as opposed to the details is well, just an overall format view. And so you can see, interesting, you've got orange arrows, right? And here it's green. So if you want something visually for overall, graphically, or just the size, position of objects, well, this is the way to go. But you can click on details if it's something about wording that it doesn't give you much here. It just gives you the specific object that's being affected or that has changes made to it. And you can see we approve that one, so that one's checked. In which case, we can go ahead and click next, or you can just come down here and click on these little, well, pencil with the little pad next to it. Click on it, and it says fill style. So this is what I've got here. If I check it, then I go with Mr. Humphreys, his orange. Okay, sure, why not? And then I can go ahead and click Next and Fill Style. Oh, that's nice. Click Next. I think I like his orange. Click Next. And oh, what did he do here? He inserted Chase and deleted Follow. Again, Chase sounds more aggressive and assertive. I agree. So I'll check Insert. And if I don't go with the next change, then I got Chase Follow. So we'll delete Chase. And oh, that looks great. Okay. Let's go ahead and click Next. Anything else? Okay, so we've got a ghost here, and the size and position has been changed. Well, it doesn't help me to see what changes Mr. Humphreys made. So if I come up here and click on the Slides tab, oh, there we go. So this is where I'm at here, and this is where he put it here. As far as the size, I can't tell the difference, because it looks like it's a lot smaller here, but in proportion to the other ghost, so I can't tell the size. But I can tell that he's not on top of the ghost, he's below him. So if you really want to see what Mr. Humphreys changed it to, then click on the tag and accept what he has. And it looks like it's the same size, but just different position. So now we accepted it. It's at the same position here. If I go ahead and uncheck it and say, eh, I'll just leave it as such. And then come up here and click Next. Oh, it says that's it. That was the last change in the presentation. You want to continue reviewing from the beginning. Okay, let's see if there's anything else we missed. And we go back to Presentation Changes says no changes to this slide. The next set is on slide four. Okay, then we can just start over again and keep going through it. It'll always be up there. So if I click next, well, it goes to slide one because after presentation changes, it starts from the beginning of any slide changes and it's always there. It'll always be there until we finally say, you know what, I'm done. Click on end review. And be careful because when you do that, click on it. Are you sure you want to end the review for merge? This will end the review and any unapplied changes will be discarded. So if I didn't accept anything, they haven't been applied changes that Mr. Humphreys made, I'll just throw them away and say, fine, we'll just stick with what you got. Okie dokie, say yes. That's it. Oh, I can't bring that little tag back. Well, we now know why, because we ended the review. So we're done with this one with Mr. Humphreys. Now we can go ahead and do another to uh, Mrs. Slocum. If she sent me a copy back and made changes of the original here, so I come up here, click on Compare, 
and then come down here and select her, but well, we'll go with Mr. Humphreys again. But keep in mind, because we accepted some of his changes, not all of them, that when I double click on Mr. Humphreys again, those that I didn't accept that are different between the two, it'll bring them back up. So I can, again, it starts off, let's go to the details here, with any presentation changes like, hey, he really wants to get rid of slide two on our website. What's up with you, man? We got to mark it. Come on, Mr. Humphreys, get with the program. So I'm not going to delete that. And again, you can go ahead and click next and go through these accept or reject. And as you go through all these, in fact, if you trust Mr. Humphreys completely, you've been through everything and you haven't checked each one of them, but you liked all of them, you can click on the accept drop down arrow and you get some choices. You can accept the change here, just the instance of it. You can accept all changes to the slide. So if you have many instances of changes on the slide or accept all changes to the entire presentation, select all that and everything's checked. You got the deleted website slide. And also you got a check mark here that it was accepted. In which case you can always go back and say, you know what, I really don't want this. So you can click on reject and it puts them back, it unchecks it. And then we can go to the next change. Oh, it says you want to continue from the beginning. Click on and continue. Deleted slide. You can uncheck it or just come up here and reject it. So you got more than one way to skin a rabbit. You can do it manually by checking the notepad and paper here. The change is made there. Or use the corresponding buttons as you advance from one to the next. Accept it. You can even just click on the button. Accepts it and it goes to the next one. Click next. Well, that's all we got left is whether or not we want to delete the slide and reject it. So you may find it a bit faster by clicking next, accept, next, reject, next, accept, or reject. And then when you're done, end the review. One final thing that I think you may find helpful is that if these markups are getting in the way, you got a lot of text here or boxes or shapes and you can't get to the one behind it because, well, it's on top of it. You can come up here on the review tab, go to the show comments, click on the drop down arrow and uncheck show markups and these little markups notepads with pencils disappear but if you have the revisions task pane open well if it's not you're like where did it go well then come up here on the review tab go to the compare group and click on reviewing pane to bring up reviewing pane to disappear click on it again to bring it back up and what you can do is these are all the changes on this slide just click on one and it will tag it highlight that object and with any changes that have been made. Let's go to the next one. Let's say yes. Go to the next one and check that. You can see it's checking what we've accepted over here in the details on the slide changes that is. And then when you're done and you want to see those markups again, well don't forget just come back up here, review tab, show comments and say show markups and it will show next to each object that a change has been made. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.